Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling. Today there's a new event in Dueling which is the Bonds event, a roaming type of event. So let's take a look at what is the event about and just go through on what is the good card to get and some farming video. I have two decks ready for you guys so be sure to check them out. So basically this is a so called a dueling event. The more you do, the more you get. So that's a daily reward of pretty good gems like 50 a day or 20 a day for the rest of the week. So cumulative points. Firstly we have Ghost Trick Stin. So this guy I would say you can change this card to face down defense and when this you can act so basically it's a milling deck which is pretty good at a thousand nine points you will get unlocked bonds which i got it at three thousand one you will have ghost trick witch so this card cannot be normal summoned unless you control a ghost trick monster once per turn you can change this card to face down defense position once per turn you can target one face up your opponent control turn change it to face down defense position so pretty funky cut but it's only 1009 attack 1002 attack sorry so it's not very useful i would say but definitely i will be trying to make a ghost trick deck for you guys and what is other cards that we have king of the scar servant so basically this is a level up monster you only have one which is pretty good with the with your scout servants so basically a potential 3000 attack and next we okay this is the accumulated point so this is one of the reward which is the pumpkin the king of ghosts so well we have this card previously uh it's not pretty useful so well we hope that with this acquisition of bonds and its skills we can have a improvement on it definitely i will make some video if i acquire the skill so another ghost trick steal from the rewards call of mommy which previously have it and ghost trick vanish which which we review one ghost trick monster in your hand this turn ghost trick monster you control and face down defense position monster you control cannot be targeted or be destroyed by card effect pretty pretty awesome card i would say so there's some combo that you can do with ghost trick deck they can check it out and basically this is the amount of dual meter field so every victory against bonds, rank do, LD, the Vega bond or SD, you get a chance to you know get more of it. So let's move on to the the levering reward. So basically, this is one of the card that was given by bonds. So here your three scar seven. The rest I would say is pretty useless. So this is the only UR card. If Castle of Dark Illusion is face up on the field, increase the attack and defense by 100. Uh, to me, it's not very viable because it takes a bit too long. You need one tribute summon or special summon by Year Bond or other zombie kind type of effect like Gonzuki. You can special summon this on this field, but you need Castle of Dark Illusion. And with 1800 attack, I mean, it's not spicy enough. So let's check out the promotion the levering up so you have more gem which is always good and one of the regenerating mummy so when this card is sent from the hand to the graveyard by an opponent card effect return this card to the hand so i mean what kind of cards that you allow opponent opponents does to allow your card from your hand to the graveyard pretty rare in the matter i would say so i mean but with 1800 attack it's pretty spicy we just need some Fear spell to you know make it better. Call of the mummy. Previously we have farm it. I I think I have two or three of this, and go straight go, which is thousand one thousand one hundred attack. We will go through a deck on this, and I will introduce more. Go straight mummy thousand five attack, and we have one spell LP boost. So more regenerating mummy, and go straight yeti. So this is a two thousand defend. And level 3 so it's pretty good cannot be normal summon again unless I control ghost street monster so pretty spicy deck and we have this Ryu cookie which is a zombie card level 6 pretty pretty good at the end of damage step if this card better warrior 
all spellcaster monster destroy that monster so warrior we have fear of the warrior pretty good at this meta as of now and spellcaster type yeah we have a few so it's a pretty good card and next we have the king of the servant the level 21 reward so the original attack of this card is the combined number of king of scout servant and scout servant in your graveyard times thousand so you know potentially you only have three thousand for this card but will it be viable with gozuki yes definitely i will be trying to make this deck be sure to stay tuned of it and we have restart for this guy as well and we have zombie war which is a fear spell so all the monster on the field in every graveyard becomes zombie type neither player can tribute summon monster except zombie type monster so it is pretty spicy if you manage to get zombie world into your hand Immor immortal ruler this card cannot be special summoned you can tribute this card to add one zombie world from your graveyard to your hand so this card and this card is synchronized with 1008 attack it's pretty pretty good so I'm, I, I'll be trying to rush my bonds uh, leveling up I have all my other characters to max so be, be sure to stay tuned on it target any so this ghost streak scare target any number of face down defense position you control change them to face up defense position current number of ghost straight monster mount then if you do change up to well this is kind of confusing but <laughs> it's not that vital I would say Ghost Streak Break, but exactly one face up Ghost Streak monster you control, and no other card is destroyed by battle or an opponent card effect, and sent to the graveyard target to Ghost Streak monster in your graveyard with different names. So, you, you, this is a good special summon effect that allows you to recycle from your graveyard to the fifth by special summon. And we have Ghost Streak Yuki Ona, pretty cutie person with a thousand attack. Cannot be normal summon again unless you control Ghost Street Monster once per turn. You can change this card to face down defense position. When this ca card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can change the monster that you destroyed to face down position. If you do, it cannot change its battle position. So basically, this is like a frat gate with a monster type. So yeah, pretty spicy. And we have two King of the Scarlet Servant. So correct me, I thought we only have one. So basically, if you have one in the graveyard and three Scout Servant, a potential 4,000 attack guy. Very, very spicy. So let's just take a look on, you know, what are the Ghost Street card that we have as of now. As you can see, I just got this and I rushed to make the video for you guys. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Do drop a like, leave your comments down below and subscribe for more video to come okay i have seven of this ur don't be alarmed by it <laughs> i did not do any cheat code to that we have ghost street mommy already we have ghost street skeleton we have ghost street girl we have go ghost okay so we have three of ghost street scar servant so well you know we definitely can make a deck of it so without further ado let's move on to the farming video I have two in store for you. So basically, the Lambric Brother first. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook for more. Let me pull out the deck list in your screens for you guys to take a closer look. Okay, there you go. So at least you can copy me while you well, while I'm doing the replay. So we have the Fear and Mega Cyber as is a special effect guy, pretty standard for farming video. Gravekeeper standard for farming video. The cat of omen. Basically, you want to mill out Ryoku or Spellshare Type 8 because uh, Bonds have some irritating card like the Momo Forest that turn your card to face down defense. It's it would affect Lambrick Builder basically because it's always in defense position. And we also have to deal with Tribute of the Doom. And I think that's one more card like Twister or something. So, you know, you need to have Ryoku and Spell Spellshare Type 8. So, Omen allows you to dig up more trap cards. You need to attack two of them, pretty standard. Shot of Grid because 
advanced Konzuki made up decks so fast that you know you can't keep up so you need some milling cards to get cards out, drawing cards. So Shear and Sword for the last turn uh, OTK and Paul Babylon's is just to put back cards from his graveyard to his hand. And we have Grave Digger guy which is a normal card because you need three of them uh, to return to banish Scar Servant from the graveyard. You do not want a 3000 beater to you know just do any funky things to you. Secret Pass to the Treasure, a standard build, Spell Shield Type 8 as I mentioned, Legacy of Yata, well just for the uh, grossy effect, and 3 Ryoku Fit. So let's move on to the highlight. I did not have much luck, I mean, uh, farming him so far. I still have a lot of cards yet to uh, receive, especially the new 2 SR card. So I go on second. Basically, it's pretty standard. You just have to prepare your Lambert Builder at turn 1. We have Ryoku, pretty good. So I'm gonna send Gravekeeper and Mega Cyber back to my deck. You see, the the milling effect, he just came on milling card, Gonzuki, so lethal. Remember that he has a Shingen Hood, Tribute of the Doom? No problem, I have Spell Shield Type 8 to neglect his effect. So that's why you always must have Ryoku or Spy Shield, Spell, Spell Shield Type 8 in your uh, set spell. So I use Grave Digger first to banish two of his Scar Servant. I do not want any nonsense from him. And Gonzuki just keep on milling cards. He has already 11 cards, I have 16 cards, more to go from me. Shout of Greed, get me more cards. And Shout of Greed again to try to draw more cards. To go on par with him and Gonzuki again, such an irritating guy for against him. And I pour Babylon's, you know, just put back cards to his deck. No biggie. I'm expecting him to mirror up more cards, which is kind of sucky for, for your boy. I hope you guys have success farming him and hope you guys enjoy this video. Do drop a like, subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. So Grave Digger, banish more cards away so this guy King of the Scar Zone becomes zero attack. Pretty pretty nasty. Such a sad boy. So I have Omen. I tried to dig out uh, Legacy because I just want to out, uh, out draw him, but he has Xing Zheng Hu, so too bad. I have to lock back row, which is to keep that in mind. You do not want to flood all your uh, back row. So now it's just waiting turn, and I use Paul Babylons to put back two cards into his uh, deck. And you know, we just go par on par. So now, just waiting for the last fight. So, show off the sword first. You get your guy to 3000 before you special summon Fion Cyber, Mega Cyber. And use Grave Keeper, Secret Pass, Double Union, and go for the Knockout Punch! Go, go, go! Knockout Punch! Well, I just throw him a bit. <laughs> Why not? So, Union Attack increases attack too. Yep. Easily, you get a 8000 plus dual assessment here. So, okay, let's move on to the next. Uh, next, next, next farming deck so next farming deck I'm gonna show you Horus so this is one new deck that I think you guys did not see before so Horus if you guys have a lot of Horus especially from the uh, pack opening be sure to use them they are very useful in against uh, bonds sorry okay so we have two horrors level 8 so basically I neglect any spell with this monster on the field so 
He can't do anything to destroy you, and Horus level 6 to destroy any spell effect that target this card, so he can't disturb you again. Gravekeeper Vessel, the standard build, and Horus level 4 to you know level up to get level 6, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, Beside restart, you may use a uh, 3-star demotion, but I do feel restart is not is a better choice. 2 unit attack and 3 enemy controller because if the big boss came up for bonds, you want to turn that to face down so you can attack them with ease because it's a zero defense card. So we have 3 level up and just some infinite cards. So there is no limit to the number of cards in player's hand. So basically you can use the cards for any use and secret pass to the treasure for the OTK. So now let's move on to the highlight and that will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Do drop a like, subscribe and leave your comments down below for our, what other deck you want me to showcase to you guys or what other games you like me to play. I have some suggestions here and there but you know, I'm trying to get more from the family. So. I got a level up level 4 so I'm, I'm fine with it so I just get level 6 up and set my econ so he painful decision is it's no it's okay for a boy he's just trying to meet up more scar servant so I just keep on attacking cause I'm a savage why not I want to get level 8 up so he special summon level I got my special summon as well pretty pretty crazy for me so level 4, level up to level 6 and attack! Attack again, just keep on attacking but after that I, I kind of regret because I don't want him to meet up faster than me which I think in this video it does so maybe you guys can be more cautious so I attack Gonzuki and attack again no rest for the wicked I just keep on attacking him. He has no chance. And attack him again. So basically he has a potential 6,000 attack. Or oh, 5,000 sorry. With 3 king. 2, tr two king of the scar servants. And 3 scar servants. Potential 5,000 attack. So I just keep on attacking him. And just attacking him. So this is a very easy farming deck. If you have two Horus level 8, be sure to use them. This is, <coughs> I would say, better than Lembrick Builder. It's more fun in that sense. Because, I mean, you're playing this game. So i rather not sit down and wait. I just want to attack and destroy him. So now it's the last turn. Standard OTK build. Grave Keeper. Secret Pass to the Treasure. To Union Attack. Pump up is attack to very very high. To twelve thousand seven hundred and KO. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do drop a like, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and upload. So have a good day, good afternoon, good night, and peace. Signing off.